perhaps what has been an obstacle yeah. is the full comprehension of language. Mm. You see, you and I, we had a very fluid conversation today. Yeah. Where we're lucky enough to be articulate mm. and the thoughts in our minds, we can put them together and bring them out. Yeah. Um, how could you break down the importance of etymology mm. to our audience? Because I've yeah. noticed, before you answer, mm. I've noticed that you break down a lot of terms such as education, belief, television, yeah. and things there. Yeah. So how can we bring to the forefront the comprehension of etymology yeah. to our audience? That's a million dollar question and one which sets us apart mm -hmm. from everyone else. Mm. Because we, we always say we've got our own language. Mm. And people think they, they may try and trivialise that. But that's a, a very, it's, it's a, such an accomplishment because it breaks down the programming. Because words, it's what you're saying, you're manifesting. Mm. Yeah, because you may not realise it, but you're constantly programming yourself by what you're thinking. Even though you may not hear it aloud, you're hearing it in your head. Mm -hmm. So when we say words are so powerful, it's because that's how you break the spell. Mm. Because the spell is used to, um, spellings are what are used to cast the spell. Mm -hmm. And so you, you, that whole thing of words you're using, and you, you, know, you say things like, like we say, God, heaven, hell, um, Jesus, Muhammad, all these things you're saying, especially if you're looking at them like, a power source, when you start to break the words down, you realize that it means something else. So even in the legal world, mm. they'll have legalese, which is a completely different language. In the medical field, they'll have medical language. So even words like, do you understand? Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? It's like, Someone might think that's insignificant. It means, or do I get it? No, they tell you, do you stand under, under the statement? Absolutely. See, they've got a reaction now. Yeah. All the authorities. <laughs> yeah. They always say that. Yeah. So the, the, the police might say, do you understand? understand. Your boss at work, do you do understand? You understand? It's, it's like you, you, they, they're placing you under yeah. what they've just said. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You turn around and say, no, I don't. I overstand. I overstand. Let's go. I'm over that. <laughs> yeah, I'm over that. You know what I mean? And then it's like, okay this one's smart and mm. we then start to do the tug of war but yeah you're right so when we say we have our own language i can say something and you have to ask me what that means mm -hmm. whereas every other person is under the subject of the language that they're speaking so even though we're conversing and like you say we're articulate and we're communicating um it's still based on what people call English. Mm -hmm. But it, English is not even a language itself, even though that might sound crazy because it's, uh, it's really a dialect composed of words from other languages, mm -hmm. you know, like German, like French, like Yiddish, Latin, Latin mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. So yes, you've hit the nail on the head that learning your, our language, mm -hmm. which when I say ours, it was the first language on the planet. So it's mm -hmm. ours. You know, but it's just that people didn't realize that these extraterrestrials, these beings that are passing themselves off as gods, which on my last video with um, Cam, I was like, they're frauds because mm -hmm. that fear is taken away when when you know who you're talking about. Mm -hmm. But when you don't know, it's, it's camouflage yeah, under this, this cloak of fear me, sacrifice to me. Mm -hmm. If you don't, I'm going to burn you up, mm -hmm. and so a lot of people are afraid of them. But when you take the cloak off and like, you're just like me. You're just like me. You're walking, you're talking, you're Very making good. mistakes, you're having wars, you're fighting, mm -hmm. you're raping, you're killing, you're doing all kinds of stuff that are human in nature. Mm. But yeah, I'm supposed to respect you, like... Pedestalize you, even. Yeah, mm. even, you know? And so, yeah, when you break down the words, you start to see clearly, mm. like, Genesis. Mm -hmm. Th that's not the beginning. That's not the beginning. But if you think that's the beginning, you're thinking that was the beginning of everything. So then you cut off everything that was before that. Extra data you should be in possession of. You cut it all off. You cut it all off. Mm -hmm. So then you don't want to link to your ancestors. Mm. You don't, you want to now give your energy and everything to this deity. Mm -hmm. So you're really giving your powers 
to them, I suppose. Submission. Yeah, to yourself. Mm. And, and funnily, in Islam, they say, you know, Muslim means one who submits. Like, submit to who? Mm. Why do I need to submit? Mm -hmm. Why is it that every Muslim's name is Abdullah? That's, that's a name that every Muslim gets before they get their other names, yeah? Abdullah means slave of Allah. Hmm. And it's actually the name of Muhammad's father. Hmm. So when you start to go into these religions and, and it's deep because it's like, and then, and then Muslims, or, sorry, not even just Muslims, like when you say you're a slave, that means you're really giving your power to somebody else. You have, yeah, absolutely. So, and, and so that we can clarify also the yeah. relationship of slavery occurs the moment there's a master and a slave. Yep. It doesn't just have to be to a deity That's or right. to, uh, 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 let's say, something that goes beyond human computation. Mm. You could be a slave to food. You there you go. You could be a slave to your desires. Absolutely. You could be a slave to fashion. Yep. You could be a slave to whatever it is mm. that is basically the master of your decision making. You could be a slave to smoking cigarettes. You could be a slave People to say, I'm going to go out and have a fag or I'm going to go out and have a cigarette. I'm like, the cigarette's having you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because like... <laughs> <laughs> you, you think you're having it, but it's, it's, consu you. it's consuming it's you because you. if you then get lung cancer or whatever, 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 and that could be any vice, as you said, yeah, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Because you have to look at who's benefiting because ultimately someone gains and somebody loses. How capitalism works. Yeah, mm -hmm. you see. So, yeah, yeah, it's deep what you're saying. So this was um, a bit of clarification over etymology, mm. um, you know, as a... As an artist, yeah. I mean, when, when I'm not an entrepreneur, I rap, yeah. you know, um, as well as production, but I think most people know me for rap music. Okay. Um, lyrics uh, became a tool of expression mm. and they became so much more effective when I understood vocabulary, mm. when I understood the, the origin of words, mm. you know, hence I mentioned about etymology. Yeah. Uh, and when I understood um, that, by putting the right words together, let alone the, the, the prophetic nature of mm. the lyricism, you know, where my eyes open to how my lyrics were manifesting my life, mm. right? And obviously, yeah. it's one of them where if I told that, obviously, yeah. we're having an interview now, yeah. but if I had this conversation with someone, like, I kind of wrapped my life into existence. Right. They, look at, they look at me like I'm crazy, right? Mm. <laughs> but it's like... But you did. I did. It's called alchemy. <laughs> Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And, over the years, I then started to ask myself the questions. Okay, mm. How was that scientific process actually occurring? Right. And this is when I, I noticed that, indeed, the words hold power. Power. Mm. Absolutely. Uh, Even uh, when we said, you said etymology, that's a mm. big word to some people. Mm -hmm. like, what, what's that mean? What's yeah. that about? Yeah. Um, so you have to kind of break that down. But mm. it's important for, for people to know because this is why people get lost. Because big words... You know, so sometimes I like to make things, that's why I give simple examples, the things that people can relate to. Mm. Um, because like you say, etymology is about the origin of words and how they've evolved and, you know, what power those words hold mm. and, and what relates to it. Like, for example, you might say, like I said, six. Mm. Um, if you study languages, you start to know that, you know, like the vowels, because I used to watch Countdown. Mm. It's a show that used to come on TV. You know, give me a consonant, give me a vowel, give me... And you put word... They put a lot of these consonants and vowels together and then they hit a time and, and, you, and people have and to make yeah, the yeah. longest word from that. Mm -hmm. That's helping you to train your, your brain, brain absolutely, and your brain mind to, to work out, you know. So what it is is that you have to start off with letters that form the words. But like you say, in terms of rapping... Mm -hmm. Even Kanye West said this when he was rapping negativity, like more they created, more. yeah, gangster rap and all this negativity. It creates more and more of that mm -hmm. to the point where people would then go out and live that life. Mm -hmm. And some of these rappers were faking it because mm -hmm. that life was not even really their life. Mm -hmm. Until this day, you have some people who what they rap is not their reality. Mm -hmm. It's where, just a business tool. Exactly. So when you switch it up, like he said, Kanye West, when he so if he wrote a, a lyrics about Jesus, like Jesus walks or whatever, mm -hmm. it didn't get the same reaction. attention and reaction. But if he wrote the slackness, it did. Mm 
-hmm. And that shows you that the people that control the industry that are thinking about money. The readies. Yeah, it's a program. It's like this sells, sex sells. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah, when you look at how languages are put together, like I said, you could swap an I with an E in terms of the vowels mm -hmm. and six becomes sex. Mm. And sex is a very powerful force. Mm -hmm. And sex is used to control a lot of people in a lot of the world because it's all about emotions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so etymology is actually really important. That's why I said when we speak our language, it's a tone. Mm -hmm. It's a vibration. Mm -hmm. It's a frequency. Mm -hmm. And frequencies is what you can utilize to bring about any outcome. Mm -hmm. You can use frequency to heal anyone. Mm -hmm. You can use, and when you're talking, you're speaking frequency. You are. And like you said, it's the way you then put it to the music, the mm -hmm. articulation, and, and that's what rap was about. Rap was really a gift to us by our elders mm -hmm. to help us send the message out quickly. Brilliantly. Brilliant. But what ends up happening, it, it got hijacked. It got hijacked. An, and exter then, an and external flipped. hand. Yes. Absolutely. And then it became rapping about slackness and money and material things and how many people you kill and all that kind of it's stuff. A, a distortion of a gift. Yeah. 